Hey folks, I wanted to answer a question that was asked on the Power BI Career Q&A, and this was how to convince management to create a Power BI team. Now, this was asked, uh, as I said, on our Career Q&A call, and often on these calls, um, you know, we take we can take 15 to 45 minutes to discuss that question and try to understand exactly what your scenario is and give you specific advice. Now, I'm not gonna take that long. I'm gonna give you a shorter version of that answer, but if you are interested uh, or have any questions around Power BI Career, then join us for our next event. You can find all that on talkpowerbi.com. Uh, we do run the career Q&A, but we also run a whole bunch of other events, the technical Q&A where you can ask, you know, DAX, M questions and so forth, dashboard showcase, and other special events. So yeah, go to talkbarbi.com. Uh, so let's uh, go to this question, which is how do you convince management to create a Power BI team? Now, uh, you can go for the Hail Mary, which is, yeah, you can make that strong case like, yeah, you know, this is what we need and we need to create the team and this is the benefits and all that sort of stuff. You can do that. You may do that, that may help. But if you ask me, I'm always, more of an agile iteration kind of approach, right? So, so I, 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 I think instead of having that big ask, it's easier to take them step by step. Um, so let me let me give you a quick analogy. For example, we have our our, our Learn Power BI consultant program, right? Uh, it's a high level program, it's a small group program, and yes, it, it requires a higher investment, right? And uh, it only opens once a year. But this one is a bigger commitment. So we, you know, it's a big step. So if I directly go to somebody is like, well, you know, it's, it's gonna be a hard sell, frankly, right? So of course we have a journey, we have a path, we take users step by step. I mean, uh, first thing we do is that we, we encourage them to start with a free tutorial in YouTube. Ooh, I thought it linked to that, right? So free tutorial on YouTube, they start there. Again, small commitment, right? And then we invite them to a Learn Power BI course. This is a flagship course. It's a great way to get started, focus on the core concepts, right? So that's step one. And then we bring them in our community. We're doing a live events. And over time, well, when we open the coaching program, yeah, and the people are ready to join, they kind of understand. So, right, so this is what I call stepped commitment, right? So, you know, you take them through small steps by steps. And again, you can think of it as agile, you can think of it as iterative, but I, I, I like that approach. So again, instead of saying that big bitch about the team, think about the MVP, right? So think about the minimum viable product. So, and that can be, in this case, what I suggested the person was that you are not in official Power BI role right now. What if that is made official? What if an announcement goes out saying, hey, uh, you know, Avi is, uh, was d doing this, this, and this, but now, X percent of his time, 50%, 20%, 50% is good, right? 50% is gonna be focused on Power BI, and if you can get a dotted line to a Power BI champion inside your company. Right? So, so again, depending on the size of a company, it could be the CEO, COO, CFO, CMO, <laughs> one of the C-suites, or somebody else, right? If it's a larger organization, then you wouldn't work with the C-suite, I don't know, director of marketing, senior VP, something like that, right? So again, you, you so think about it. This is such a smaller commitment. It's like instead of saying, "Yeah, let's set up a BI team," you're saying, "Hey, you know, give give me some leeway. Give me some time. De give me let me dedicate 50% of my time just on this, and let me work directly or closely with a business counterpart." Now, I do believe that BI, especially Power BI efforts, I don't believe that it should sit under IT. All right, a business intelligence belongs to the business, right? So it should be working with that. But again, you open the doors. Like, yep, give me a dotted line. Don't, you don't have to move me a reorg or whatever, right? Give me a dotted line. And then the other thing that I highly recommend for companies inside is that they should have an internal Power BI group, right? And, and, and yeah, it's just a few people start with that who meet monthly and 
that becomes really powerful. Now, I'm generally an advocate for hiring from inside, hiring and promoting from inside. I mean, look around in your organizations and you would see people who are kind of data savvy. Now, I've heard great stories where people were not in like a data centric role. Sometimes people are working in the call center, which is not, you know, I mean, that's not, you know, they're answering phones, but they, they were very passionate about this. And once they got bitten by the Power BI bug, they just, you know, kind of, boy, they just exploded from there, right? So they just self learn uh, and all that stuff, right? So look for those candidates, look for the people who are passionate. And again, by setting up a group and maybe uh, setting up a monthly Teams call or Zoom call or whatever, or in person, if that's possible, then yeah, get that group together, have them talk to, about Power BI. And again, if they're passionate, then it's gonna be a great meeting. And, and that can lead the way towards forming this team. I mean, because you would have these connections and when it comes time to pitch about that team, you would have those candidates identified, um, right? So, um, boy, I, I don't remember. So uh, there's some other stuff we discussed, which frankly, I don't quite remember right now. Again, sometimes we do end up talking and this is a real conversation back and forth. Um, if, if you haven't heard me talk about the Shining Beacon project, then I spoke about it at length in our Power BI conference. Uh, there it is. So yeah, if you if you missed that, then go to the Power BI conference uh, recording link and grab that recording. Watch my session on the Shining Beacon project. That also can really help things uh, and convince management about Power BI. Hopefully that helps. So again, folks, we hang out on the Talk Power BI live calls. I love doing that. I frankly I love doing that on Zoom. It's a lot more intimate. It's uh, I can unmute people, bring you on, I can talk to you, we can have real conversations. It's a blast. Now, of course, you're gonna enjoy it a whole new way if you are part of the Learn Power BI family. Those are the members who frankly join the most and probably get the most value. Uh, so yeah, consider that. Just go to learnpowerbi.com and check out our training and coaching programs. All right, my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Power on.